Today, we're going to do a cute rainbow puppy face painting tutorial. We are going to go from this to this. Let's get started. Wait, actually, before we get started, we need to name our puppy. What are some good names? Should she be called A, Cosmos, B, Candy, or C, Cupcake? Let me know in First, the comments with the below what you want to name with pearl white Let's to get started. The muzzle. Also sponge the bridge of the nose and the eyelids. For this design, it is better to use pearl white versus regular white to give it a softer look that complements the rainbow cake better than normal white. Next, with a teardrop sponge, pick your rainbow cake of choice. Start from the corner of the eye to the end of the muzzle. The nice thing about teardrop sponges is that you can be more accurate to get the corners compared to other sponge types. Sponge over a couple of times to get your desired coverage. And with the tip of the sponge, fill in the areas that you miss. Then with a number 12 long shaper, create the bow in neon pink. And with the rainbow sponge, create the ears. You wanna make sure to kind of create a round triangle. It is important to squeeze the sponge to give it a curved look. Next, with a number four brush, draw the nose in black. Dogs tend to have a larger nose than cats, so paint a bigger one than usual. Hey, you there. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? Because every week we post new videos. They are easy, they are fun. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you never miss a video. Okay. After with a number two brush, draw a backward teardrop like this. And with the same brush, outline the bow. This is a very nice and simple but clean bow to do on any design. Next, outline the muzzle. We believe it is easier to draw a furry muzzle from the bottom up versus the top down. Then draw a bunch of different sized dots inside of the muzzle. Next is to outline the ears. I know this isn't the best demonstration, but I hope it can help you understand the shape of the ears. I like to think of them as giant tongues, and then from there you're able to draw on them better compared to maybe cat ears. After, draw a semicircle from the end of the eyebrow to the corner of the eye. And add some cute teardrop eyelashes too. Now for the fur. We find it easier to start from the bottom up to draw some subtle looking hair. This is nothing compared to cheetah fur. And just keep pulling your brush up, drawing no more than maybe five bumps. Next, with a number 12 long shaper, draw the tongue in neon pink. Start at the corner of the mouth and make it come to a point while the bottom looks like a giant balloon. Later, with a number four brush, add some dots in blue. This blue is called Winter Blue by Fusion. Wiggle your brush in order to draw not perfect circles. And draw dots throughout your entire puppy. Then, with a number two brush, outline the tongue. Stencil time! Here we're using tap stencil called Paws along with a finger dabber using black. These finger dabbers are really nice for the smaller or detailed stencils. This stencil is a super cute detail to add to your puppy, but if you don't have it, no problem. 
And lastly, with the number two brush, outline your entire puppy in white. This gives it a nice finished look, bringing the whole piece together. Yay, you're all done! Give yourself and this video a thumbs up. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.